hey guys what's up welcome back to another youtube video of mine so let's go ahead and get straight into it i went ahead and i got some of these wig caps from amazon that are a lot thinner than the ones that came with the wig see how thick that one is compared to the thin ass one that i got from amazon yeah that one is gonna make it look more like a scalp so we're gonna go with that one okay um and yeah so let's just go ahead and put this right on i'm not even gonna put my hair into a fucking bun or anything i'm literally just gonna tuck my locks into the wig cap and i did bleach the knots on this wig fyi i ble i bleached the knots on this wig again i know the wig came pre-bleached with the knots but i went ahead and i bleached the knots again for this second install just because i wanted you know it to really give skin i wanted it i just wanted to like you know um do trial and error and like every single time i install a wig i wanted to be more and more like scalp you know what i mean like i wanted to get more, more like skin so i just went ahead and bleached the knots again okay so now i'm going to take this perfect swiss lace concealer stuff that i use in my first install with the middle part and i'm going to put that on the lace again that really does help um make the parting look like a scalp which i really do like so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna use some foundation on the ball cap um just you know so i can make myself look bald duh and yeah so once i put this wig on i'm going to go ahead and shift it to the side because you know we're doing a side part now so yeah and i'm gonna be parting y'all gonna see me well i'm y'all i'm actually not gonna put that in the video but i parted that wig like crazy like i wanted to get make sure that that side part parting was right um so yeah after that i'm just gonna begin hot combing and you know getting this wig as flat as possible okay Now I'm just going to comb out my baby hairs right before I like make sure that the wig is in the perfect placement um, for me to get ready to secure it down. Okay, so yeah, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like I actually messed up the first time and I put too much glue um, on like. Like, it was just too much glue further down on my forehead. Like, not even, it was just, it was a mess. So, I went ahead and I took that off. And now, I'm going ahead and I'm reapplying it. And this time, I'm putting the glue a lot closer to my hairline. Um, and honestly, I just have to do that because I have a low hairline. And this is exactly why I have to use glueless glue as well. Because the reality is, I just have to put the glue on my hairline. Because my hairline is so low, I don't want to put the glue or the wig before my hairline. Because it looks super weird, super wiggy and it just like it don't match my hairline at all because my you know my forehead would be even smaller you know what i mean so yeah i'm just gonna help go ahead and put the lace on the glue while it's still wet okay because that's what the instructions on the fucking bolt hole liquid gold that's what it says to put it put the lace apply it when it's wet um like super wet and then you let it dry on there so that's what i'm doing just you know letting the glue dry and I'm using my comb and I'm also like off camera, I'm also using like a blow dryer. Then once the glue completely dries, I'm going to like make sure that the baby hairs and my hair is not being stuck to the glue. You know, like I wanna make sure that um, that's not crusty from the glue so yeah i'm just taking a little alcohol wipe and removing any excess glue um, from the hair or like on my forehead right before i use um some tinted lace mousse and i put that on the wig now i should have done this before i laid the wig down because the this glueless wig is water activated so and it's tinted latent smooth so i should have like low-key done this before but whatever it worked out it didn't it didn't lift make it lift or whatever it just it was yeah so um and then you see like how it's kind of yellow yeah that looks kind of weird but don't worry about that it actually dried down you know and it, you know to a normal looking color um so yeah after the tinted lace mousse freaking dried though y'all know i'm gonna go ahead and use that hot stick what not hot stick y'all know i'm gonna go ahead and use that wax 
stick hot comb combo. Okay, that's going to, I'm going to fucking hot comb my life away and make sure that wick is flat for the next fucking 30 minutes off camera, obviously, though. Okay, y'all going to, we're going to fast forward that part. Okay, so now we're going to take some of the tint from the mousse. I'm going to take some of that off, like rub off the excess, and then I'm going to use some spritz and I'm going to put that all on like, along the hairline and I'm going to let that dry right before I put the band. Okay, so we're doing all of this right before we officially put the band down. Okay. Now the TikTok girlies with the melted ass lace looking like scalp girlies, they said to keep the band on for no less than an hour. So that's what the fuck I did. Okay, that band was staying on my head for an hour smoke break and all i came back and yeah that band was on there for my head for a good hour so but y'all see i'm gonna still have to touch it up so it's definitely been more than an hour um i just took off the band and this is what it was giving and then i literally just applied some more spritz okay because like it's not too bad because like honestly with this part i'm just gonna swoop this part right here and then i'm just gonna actually like push that down right and then with this part i'm probably gonna find a way to like not really show too much of like my ear or whatever even though i really do like that but i do have to remember that this is actually a closure and not like a, a, a full lace so i just kind of like shifted the wig this way so i could do a side part but I'm still not about to like really show because look, you know, that lace is lifting and I don't want to cut that because it's not like I still want it to be made for, I want it to be versatile. So I'm just going to leave that little shit, that little flap up right there on my ear and then I'm just going to find a way to just kind of like drag some more hair down, you know, um, I still have like a little bit of my real side burns out right there so I'm a, I gotta cut this too I'm probably just gonna do like one soup right here and then just like kind of bring this down to to where it can hide so let's get into the lace we're gonna melt try to melt that a little bit more all right so as I said I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to melt this lace you know even further i'm gonna take some liquid foundation i'll put that on the lace I, now you could honestly do that as replacement for the tinted mousse i thought about that so if you don't have tinted mousse you could just use your foundation instead but yeah y'all saw how good that um, my foundation matched my skin too anyway so yeah we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna take some a little bit more spritz and then i'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and i'm gonna put that over the over bleached parts and the my parting but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and finish hot combing with the wax stick and stuff um because i feel like it would be weird to like hot comb black eyeshadow into my hair you know what i mean so i'm i'm paused on the black eyeshadow we're gonna come back to that um, but I'm just going to continue with the hot combing process. So y'all see what, what this what it's giving? It's giving scalp, right? Is it giving scalp? I think it's giving scalp. I'm not gonna lie, like I think it's giving scalp. Okay, so now we're gonna finally cut the baby ears and we're gonna lay them down. Okay, to do that, I use a little bit of some edge booster and some spritz. And now I'm just gonna use some powder foundation to kind of set my liquid foundation and remove any shininess from the glue as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I think I put a little bit more spritz because you know that spritz be helping the milk, child. So I put a little bit more spritz right before I put the band on again. Okay, this is the, the final melt. Okay, after this, it should be motherfucking melted. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into styling. I washed the wig like right before I put it on. So I'm gonna finish blow drying it. And then I'm gonna take my Chi Flat Iron Serum. I'm gonna put that all over the wig hair, okay? right before I flat iron and I curl this entire wig. Y'all need me stone, y'all don't need to see me do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and like skip past that part. 
but i do want y'all to see how good this hair flat irons like do y'all see like this is a water wave and i straightened it that's like one pass with my red pro titanium flat iron like that looks pretty darn good so um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and finish flat iron and curling my whole head and then i'm going to take off the band and redo my baby hairs and i took this little mini flat iron and i tried to curl you know like try to do what they were doing with the little curl baby hair. Child, it wasn't working i think i need a new mini i think i need like an actual pencil flat iron because this mini flat iron just wasn't doing it for me so yeah anyway okay so now we're gonna take some spritz okay as you can see i came back on camera with the full beat face because we're going out clearly so i need to put some spritz to you know melt with my new face right so i'm gonna put some more spritz and then i'm gonna take down all of the pink curls from when i was curling my hair and i'm just gonna go ahead and put some layers in this motherfucker because it, that's what it's needing okay but y'all y'all see these scissors don't you dare use these big ass industrial scissors to fucking put layers in your wig okay but anyway this is all i had on hand so this that's what i used um because you know layers were about to be added regardless so yeah i just took those big ass scissors and i just put some layers into um both sides of the party you know like where the bang was and where the other little swoop de doo bang was <laughs> y'all see me just doing a little finishing touches okay i'm going to finish you know with the hot comb definitely using that hot comb and that wax stick right before i leave the house to make sure it's flat flat and then i'm going to continue with the black eyeshadow um and i'm gonna put that on the parting as well to make sure that it's not over bleached and it looks right you feel me and that's really it okay after i hot comb after i touch it up after i do the black eyeshadow i'm basically done and um but yeah y'all just gonna see me you know play with my hair a little bit so all in all i feel like this wig is actually very versatile which i love i love the fact that i could do a middle part and a side part i low-key should have done the side part first like i should have like did that as my first install for, for this wig but it is what it is because yeah I, I just prefer side parts on me honestly i feel like side parts just look better on me than the middle part but it is what it is this is the second install and this is the side part and it's giving okay it's definitely giving i love it the hair holds a curl very well which i like it's just the fact that this hair sheds like crazy like i'm not gonna lie this unit's wig does shed a lot so i'm gonna rate the wig like a 7 out of 10 just because of the fact that it holds a curl well it's very super pretty like in terms of like the lace part i feel like they doing a thing with the lace part it's very much so pre-bleached pre invisible knot uh zigzag like pre plucked all that shit looks fucking fantastic for definitely great for beginners it is the fact that i feel like i'm gonna have to replace this wig sooner than later because of the fact that it shed so much you know um especially when you're dealing with lace like you can't just put a bundle in there and add you know add value back like you have to get like cut out the closure part and replace the closure part or you just gonna have to get a whole new wig so i'm probably gonna have to get a whole new wig if i don't want to do that but yeah this wig all in all like i said is great and um yeah okay so that's all for this video y'all all right if you guys like it don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more of me baby <laughs> lol all right <laughs> i love y'all bye but y'all literally this this bold hold lace stuff is really like where you going front to you i'm not even going front to you it's really giving so shout out to bold hold <laughs>